What's going on guys? John here from Cooking with John. Also Nikki and John Pranks. If you see my face, you probably want to click on the link in the description below for one of our most recent prank videos. Nikki thought it'd be funny to draw all over my face with this permanent uh, henna jungle or juice stuff. I don't really know what it was, but this is going to be here for like a week, two weeks, and I'm really just not happy about it. So to get me in a better mood, I thought I'd make my family's homemade recipe of chicken and dumplings. It's absolutely delicious. It's fairly simple to make. It does take quite a while to make a few hours, uh, but like I said, it is totally worth it. It is so delicious and it is one of my favorite foods in the entire world. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a whole chicken here. We're going to put it in a big old pot like this and we're going to boil it in four to five cups of water for one hour. And we're also going to add uh, two to five chicken bouillon cubes. How many cubes you want to add is kind of up to you. I prefer to add two to three. My mom likes to add five and it really adds a lot of flavor to the actual chicken. So like I said, we take our whole chicken here and make sure that if your chicken comes with a package of stuff inside the actual chicken that you take it out. We're going to set that right in the pot and we're going to fill it up with just a little bit of water. Like I said, four to five cups. Uh, for me, I, I do this a lot, this is something I make a lot, so I know that the amount of water I need will cover just about half of the actual chicken. So half of the chicken is below water, half of the chicken is above water. After touching the raw chicken, you always want to wash your hands no matter what. You don't want to go around your kitchen uh, touching other things with that raw chicken juice on your hands because it can contain salmonella and that is something that can be really, really bad. The next step is to take three of these chicken bouillon cubes. They come wrapped up uh, in little pieces of foil. You can get them in the spice aisle of your local grocery store. But uh, they are kind of just packed full of salt and spice. So they're usually pretty easy to get open. But we're going to drop three of these in with the chicken before we start boiling it. And now we're going to take this, we're going to put it on the stove on a medium heat for 45 minutes to one hour until that chicken gets nice and cooked and is pretty much falling off the bone. Set it to a medium heat, 45 minutes to one hour. We want to go ahead and cover it so we keep all that heat inside the pot. It'll boil, the chicken will cook. Alrighty, so the chicken has been boiling in water for one hour. And it is really, really, really hot. So you gotta be careful when doing this part. But now we're gonna take this, I'm actually gonna cut it open with a knife into pieces so it'll cool down faster. But this is gonna go in the fridge for 20 to 30 minutes so it can actually cool down. One really important thing is you need to save uh, the, it's actually chicken broth now, but the water that we started with, you wanna save because we're gonna use this to actually make uh, part of the chicken and dumplings. And while the chicken's cooling, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take one cup of long grain rice. Let me just fill up the cup here. Go ahead and make sure we get a full cup. And we dump that into the liquid we boiled the chicken into. And we're also gonna take one can of cream of chicken soup. I prefer to use Campbell's because it's delicious. And we'll just go ahead and we'll scoop that right out into the liquid that we boiled the chicken in along with the rice. And the chicken boiled a little hot today. It was a smaller chicken than I normally use. So I'm going to use the cream of chicken soup can, fill it up with water, and I'll add one cup, or one can rather, of water to the water that we boiled the chicken in along with the rice and the cream of chicken. And you can mix this up with uh, some sort of small whisk, but you wanna make sure you break that soup down into the liquid that you boiled the chicken in. And this is gonna go back on the stove for 30 minutes and we're just gonna let it simmer. We'll take the chicken out before this is done simmering. We'll break it all up into pieces. We'll add the chicken to this and then we'll go ahead and add the dumplings and we'll finish cooking it. Like I said, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this back on the stove at a very low heat just so it starts to simmer. We are basically just gonna take this chicken piece by piece and tear it into little chunks, I would say bite-sized chunks. Again, I just washed my hands before I started doing this. But um, this will take five ten minutes to get all the chicken off the bones. But just piece by piece, chunk by chunk, we pull it apart. And you want to be sure to get all the chicken you can 
off of the bones. Sometimes I won't pick it clean because I really, really, really enjoy chicken Caesar salads for lunch. So I'll come back and I'll pick this apart and have enough chicken to make a salad out of. But the other thing here is we want to make sure that we don't get any of the bones. So I'm really thorough in the pieces of chicken that I'm pulling off. I kind of uh, just mush them around in my fingers to make sure there's no sharp things in there. There's no bones uh, because you really don't want to choke on a chicken bone. The chicken broth base with the cream of chicken soup has been simmering for about 30 minutes. And we're going to go ahead, we're going to take all of our chicken and we're just going to dump it in just like that. And we'll let that simmer for about another five minutes. And we'll just go ahead and mix it up a little bit. Get that chicken in there. The rice should be almost done. But let me tell you what, this is smelling so good. And now we're gonna make our dumplings. So if you buy a big box of Bisquick, uh, on the side they'll say something that says biscuits and dumplings. And we're gonna use that uh, recipe to mix up our dumplings. All right, and dumplings are two and a quarter cups Bisquick. So we go ahead and just dump this out. And you kind of want to keep this uh, proportionate. Dumplings are kind of fickle. Um, you don't want to mix them up too much, but you want to make sure that you have the, the proper amount of ingredients. And we'll do two and a quarter cups of that. And then we'll add two thirds of a cup of milk. All right, and that is the 30 minute timer for my pot that has been simmering. And with this, you just kind of want to slowly mix it up with a fork. You don't want to over mix it. You don't want the dumplings to get hard. So you just kind of fold everything over on itself until you get the proper mixture. And that's going to allow for a nice fluffy dumpling. There we go. And that's about the consistency that we're looking for. Just kind of a, a nice, doughy mixture that's not you know just you see there's still a little dry chunks in there that's okay but you just fold it over for about a minute with a fork and you're looking for this type of consistency and we're going to use a large uh, kitchen spoon here and the one thing this is like important is you need to get the spoon wet so the dumplings don't stick to the spoon when you try to put them in and you're going to take one spoonful of dumpling and you're just going to Set it in the liquid here and it should slide right off of the spoon just like that. We're going to re-wet our spoon and we're going to do this a few more times until we're out of dumplings. And this part is important. We're going to cook it 10 minutes with the cover off and then we're going to do it 10 minutes with the cover on. Very, very, very important. And then it'll be done. After 10 minutes of cooking, your dumplings will look like this. And now we're actually going to cover it and cook it for another 10 minutes. And like I said, this takes a long time to cook. You know, you gotta cook the chicken for an hour, you gotta simmer it for another 30 minutes. It's almost two hours of cooking. But I remember when I was growing up as a child, my mom would always say, 20 minutes left, the dumplings are in. 10 minutes left, the dumplings are in. And I would get so excited about the chicken and dumplings being done. It was my favorite food to eat growing up. I think it still is my favorite food. It's hands down my favorite homemade meal. All right, the 10 minutes is up. Voila! That smells and looks wonderful. Now the way we're actually gonna serve this is we're gonna take one of our dumplings, we're gonna scoop it up just like this, put it in the bowl, and then we're gonna scoop all that chicken juice goodness stuff mixture out of the bottom of the pot. Get a, make sure you get a, a nice couple pieces of chicken, good chunks in there, and you serve that just right over the dumpling, like so. And let me tell you what, this is so good. I'm gonna wait until it cools off for a few minutes because it's very, very warm. And we'll go ahead and we'll try it out and I'll let you know what I think. All right, the moment of truth. So you get a little piece of flop, you get a little piece of floppy, Floppy. You get a little piece of fluffy dumpling, nice piece of chicken, a little bit of that juice in there, and oh gosh, that's good. Again, like I said, one of my favorite things to eat in the entire world. Um, I don't quite make it as good as my mom does. I don't know. I think she just has a lot more experience making this, but her chicken and dumplings, 
is to die for. I love it so much, but this is a very close second. Nick is gonna go ahead and give this a taste. I can't believe I'm letting you try this, even though you pranked me. <laughs> wait, wait, is this a prank? Yes. Better not be. That is mm. sardines. That not good? It's really good. Yeah. You think your mom makes it way better? I think she does, yes. Hi, yours is pretty good though, I love it. I think hers is way better, but we're gonna enjoy this for dinner tonight. And one of the cool things about this is it refrigerates really, really well. And it's, it's really, it makes for good leftovers. Yeah, and it's good cold or hot. So you can eat it cold right out of the fridge or you can throw it in the microwave and warm it up. But we're gonna enjoy this delicious chicken and dumpling. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching guys. I'm Thanks John from Cooking with John. My counterparts here, Nikki okay. and Iris. And this is a, she's naked because she has a fever. Hmm, she look at, she wants chicken and dumpling. She's pointing at it mm -hmm. like, come on, feed me. Mm hmm. Bye. <laughs>